let's look uh, to draw the histogram let us look example three yeah uh, okay we just read this one and then it's about the speed and number of cars so what you do is you draw the table in a, like this huh? in a form of frequency table you find the midpoint you find the lower boundary and upper boundary so midpoint how to find you just uh, this one uh, 70 plus 79 you divide by 2 you'll get 74.5 and then you just uh, do the rest uh, do the rest okay for lower boundary uh, it's just a fast one uh. so you look at the lower lower limit 70 so the boundary will be 69 here the next number will be 69 the boundary will be 69 plus 70 divided by 2 you will get 69.5 yeah that's why you get this one and if you see the pattern actually it's just the lower boundary you minus with minus with 0 0.5 yeah so you got this one all here and then upper boundary you look at the upper upper boundary upper limit 79 yeah 79 and then the next one will be 80 so 79 plus 80 divided by 2 you'll get the the upper boundary yeah that is 79.5 so if you see the pattern, it is actually you just you just plus plus zero point five, yeah. Okay, so you get all this one, all this done, yeah. So you want to draw your histogram. Your y-axis, it is the number number of cars, yeah. And you know it because it is stated here, vertical axis, 2cm to 10 cars. And it is the actual frequency. And normally, the y-axis will be for frequency. Yeah? yeah, for frequency. And then for the x, for the, for the x-axis, um, it is, x-axis, it is the, uh, horizontal axis 2 cm to 10 km per hour yeah so for your x axis it is speed la yeah uh, oh I write it here speed speed with uh, the unit is km per per hour Okay. okay now we do the scale 2 cm for horizontal 2 cm to 10 kilometers so let's say this is let's say this is 2 cm huh? 1 2 3 4 5 you have how many classes 1 2 3 4 5 you have 6 huh? 6 classes so this is actually 2 cm yeah 2 cm and you don't write 10 here you don't start 10 here but um, you'll start with this one this one 69.5 yeah 69.5 and then you continue 79.5 89.5 and then 129.5 yeah and then another one for your uh, vertical axis your y axis it's 2 cm 2 cm to let's say this is 2 cm eh? 2 cm to 10 cars so uh, this is 10 20 30 
yeah because our maximum is 30 here smallest is 10 at uh, 5 you start with 10 lah, huh? okay now you can draw your histogram yeah you just uh, look at the frequency yeah you look at the frequency here so for 5 for 5 it is should be here yeah so you start with this one 69 point 69 point 5 to 79 point 5 yeah this one you start with this one so it is 5 this one this is the first bar yeah so the next bar is this one 79.5 to 89.5 10 so 10 it is this one yeah okay the next one is 20 20 20 next one is 30 30 is the highest yeah 30 and then next one is 25 25 yeah so finally oh, this one already done done okay this one it is 10 okay 10 so you have done with your uh, histogram yeah this is your histogram but then you are asked to find also the uh, to draw the histogram and uh, frequency polygon yeah so what you do is you you find the midpoint here yeah you find the midpoint every bar you just find the midpoint and then uh, for the you have to uh, put another x, extra two points on x axis yeah for the zero frequency this one and also this one so you, then only then you connect the the points yeah and you have to use the ruler to connect the points okay it should be like this lah. this is the frequency polygon and you get from your histogram and if you want to see the real graph it should be like this lah. you have to draw in a graph paper yeah draw in the graph paper this is 2 2 cm and this one also 2 cm the scale yeah uh, this is your histogram this is your uh, frequency polygon and make sure you close it with the zero frequency here yeah zero frequency you have to add extra two points okay okay now we will uh, learn how to find the cumul cumulative frequency of a data from a frequency table yeah they say this is your frequency table the cumulative frequency of a class interval is the sum yeah remember it's the sum of the frequency of the class and the total frequency of the classes before it uh, so this gives an ascending cumulative frequency you total up all the frequency uh, one by one uh, according to the classes okay if you have a table like this and then you are asked to construct a frequency table from uh, you are asked to construct a cumulative frequency from the frequency table what you should do is um, you have to do it uh, with you have to add column lah. yeah you have to add two more columns here one is for frequency yeah one is for cumulative frequency so this one is for frequency 
frequency and this one uh, you just write it back yeah. write it back frequency is 4 5 8 7 3 so the next column is cumulative frequency yeah frequency so the first number will be okay will be 4 lah yeah and now you will start uh, do the sum yeah 4 you plus with 5 you'll get 9 9 you plus with 8 you will get uh, 17 right 17 you add with 7 you'll get 20 you'll get 24 and then 24 you add with 3 you'll get 20 7. So this is the cumulative frequency. If 17, what's the meaning? 17 means yeah, the classes lah. The classes from 10 uh, to the range to 39 lah. Yeah. We'll have 17 frequency. Yeah. Okay. So um just to check uh, if whether you have added it correctly or not you just plus everything here you should get also 27 so you get the right cumulative frequency yeah we'll look at example four where you are asked to um, represent the data with a frequency polygon yeah frequency polygon before this, we have drawn this, but it's from the histogram, yeah? But this time, without uh, drawing the histogram, you, have, you go directly and you draw the frequency polygon. And you have to use the scale given to you, lah, yeah? So, before you can draw your frequency polygon, you have to uh, add some information, yeah? So, for frequency polygon, your x-axis, uh, for your x-axis, you need to have your midpoint. Yeah, you will use your midpoint and you have learned it just uh, before this. And then for your y-axis, it is the uh, frequency. Lah. This should be not a problem to you. Yeah, so... Mm, we'll we'll uh, make one table yeah one table um, so first it is the first is what it is the time yeah it is the time recorded so you have how many five yeah five one two three four and five and then the this is the number of participants huh? number of participants number of participants yeah so and do you remember that when you draw your polygon it must touch the uh, x-axis yeah X axis with zero frequency. Ah, so the table, this one we have five classes, but we have to add two more class, two more classes. Yeah, so this table we should add. Yeah, we should add two more here. This one should be mid midpoint. Huh? midpoint. And then um, you just write write it back, yeah. Your your classes, huh? um, fifty to fifty-four, seventy-four, and the uh, frequency you just write back, lah. The number of participants, yeah. Ah, now you have to have your you create your two other classes with with what 
with zero frequency. Yeah? So the, the, the class should be, because this is 50, so this one should be 40, 49. Yeah? 49 and then you must have how many numbers? The interval, class interval is 5. So you have 49, uh, 48, 49, 48, 47, 46, 40, 45. You have 5 numbers. Uh. So this one should be 45. And then for this one, 74, 74, 75 to 79. Okay, so your midpoint, very easy. You just plus your lower and upper limit, uh, plus, and then you divide by 2, you'll get here 47. Yeah, 47, and then here, the same formula you use, 52, 57, yeah, 60, 60, wait, 62, and then 67, 72, 77. Huh? Okay, so now, now we can, uh, we can draw the frequency polygon. Yeah, we draw the frequency polygon, huh? Okay, so we start with the, with your, uh, but you have to draw in the graph, huh? this one is just a sketch for you. Uh, your y-axis will be the, uh, the your y-axis huh, should be the number of participants, yeah, because uh, this one always will be your frequency, and then your x-axis will be the will be the time lah. Uh, midpoint this one is the time yeah time time in second eh? okay so the the scale is 2 cm to 5 second yeah 2 cm to 5 second so uh, you have to start with, with what yeah of course 27 eh? You don't start with five seconds. That's the the what the gap every every five seconds, yeah. So you start here forty. Let's say this is two cm. Huh? Start with forty seven, and then fifty fifty two. There five seconds already for fifty two minus forty seven, yeah. And then this is fifty seven. This is sixty two. Ah, this is 67, and then 72, then 77. Okay, number of participants. Number of participants, the, the scale is 2 cm to 2 participants. Yeah, 2 cm to 2 participants. I said this is 2 cm also. Huh? 2 cm, so this is 2, this is 4. And this is 6. Yeah. Okay. Now we do the... We do the... Uh, points. Eh? The coordinates. So 47 is 0. So you start here with 0. Lah. Huh? 52 is 2. So... It is 2. And then 57 it's 3. 3 should be here. So... Yeah, and then 62 is 6, 6, 6, that means here 6, and then 67 will be, 67 will be 5, 5, okay, if you use graph paper, it's easy to, to find the uh, numbers, yeah, but because I'm showing you with the so it's quite difficult for me. Four, it is here, and then okay, this is very easy. Zero, and then now you just draw, lah. Yeah, you just draw, uh, draw. You just uh, bring your ruler. Use your ruler. You connect, yeah. Connect all the dots. Connect all the points.
use ruler okay this is your frequency polygon yeah so yeah you want to see the uh, perfect one okay perfect one is this one Ah, so you give a title lah. this one time recorded of participants and this is the number of participants this is 2cm make sure it's 2cm ah. this one also 2cm and start with 0 yeah I didn't write 0 just now but this is a perfect one yeah the graph okay so we are done with histogram and uh, frequency polygon and now you can do exercise 7.1a question 1 2 3 4 yeah you have to do it all okay